Okay, we are here with uh, Chris Jambernardi from the San Antonio River Authority Parks Department, 15-year veteran park specialist, and we're paddling down the San Antonio River on the Suspamco Paddling Trail. So, Chris, tell us um, when visitors come on the 29th, what, what kinds of things can they expect to see when they come out here? Oh, when they come along the river, you're going to see uh, all sorts of wildlife. A lot of the feral hogs like to come down on the banks. Uh, we've seen white-tailed deer. Uh, birders will enjoy the kingfishers and the herons that come along the shore. And now the kingfishers, we, we saw one of those examples of them earlier. We didn't get it on camera. We apologize. But we also saw some cardinals, some woodpeckers. So for birders, for wildlife watchers, it, it's going to be just a mixed bag for everyone, right? Exactly. Now, the conditions on the river today, you know, the river looks a little high from the rains that we had over the weekend. We're, we're very thankful for those rains. Um, we also have some log jams to, to think about. Um, what, what are some of the things of paddling this type of trail that people would have to watch out for with regard to log jams and that? Like you said, the log jams, uh, after a rain event especially, the trees will wash down into the, the river and uh, they uh, cause these blockages sometimes and then the trash unfortunately builds up behind them and what we try and do is just come along and make it passable so that everybody can enjoy the river so with that that will you know sometimes it's just a cutting a few limbs here and there and then other times it's larger trees that will block it so with regard to with regard to the trash the uh, the river authority is um on their 29th event in coordination with uh, National Public Lands Day asking some of the visitors to take little tote sacks and pick up trash, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, we're asking them uh, to, you know, give a little bit of their time to help clean the river so that everybody can enjoy it in the future. And it, it'll truly be a uh, event that the whole family can enjoy, I hear. What, what are some of the things people can expect? Well, they're going to have... Uh, a uh, fishing event for the kids. Um, there's going to be uh, planting of the, uh, well, they'll give them uh, seed balls, native seed balls to work with. Uh, there's going to be, we're going to have people, if they would like to remove some of the invasive ragweed species. Um, so it's the paddling along there, also clean up of the river. Truly an interactive event. Yes. And that is on the 29th. It starts at uh, 8 in the morning, right? Yes, I believe you'll come out at 8 in the morning. Uh, that's usually when the kayakers will get the water. And that starts at Helton, right? Uh, that will be at 1604. They'll put in okay. right there and then float the uh, 12 miles down to Helton and take out there. All right. Well, thank